Welcome to Real Flicks Reviews. We're like a book club for people who hate reading. This week was Theater Picks. We picked The Mummy, made in 2017. We're also doing, doing Season 1, Episode 1 of Texas Midnight. This week we have Jonathan Charney, James Stevens, and Ryan Preston. So the, the description of The Mummy 2017, an ancient princess is awakened from her crypt beneath the desert, bringing with her ma malevolence growing over millennia, terror, blah, blah, blah. Well, you get the point. Watch the one with Brendan Fraser. Um, so I'm going to go first. All righty. Um, so, because I actually thought about this because I had a week of time between when I saw it. I wasn't really impressed with the introduction of the mummy. Uh, it really seemed this, it was the same length as the one with Brendan Fraser, except she kind of seemed like a pissed off uh, frat valley girl. You mean like the witch from the Suicide Squad? And pretty much. Just um, putting that out there. And to see. Tom Cruise's character was kind of like Brendan Fraser, but instead of siding with him, it kind of makes you just think he's a schmuck. And. I even you, like his character in Mission Impossible. There was give nothing a about his character. on this? Or are you just going to bitch? I'm going I'm to I'm bitch for a bit. All right. I, I'm just checking. Um, this is the one part I thought was cool. The Secret Society was uh, more of a League of Extraordinary Gentlemen than a Mysterious Society slash Clan, shown in the Brendan Fraser movie. I think Hellboy did it better. You mean just without Sean Connery? Yeah. I, I give it a, I'll give it a 2.5. Mm. I was going to give it a three, but I realized the extra point five was because I'm more excited about the other movies than I was about this one. Uh, well, you know, um, I'm going to kind of have to go with you. I mean, for me, this is a pathetic film. It gets a two. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, Tom Cruise, you're really going to try to do comedy right now? You really haven't done any good comedy since Tropic Thunder or Risky Business. And it's literally like <clears throat> Ben Affleck trying to do his own little. Oh, sorry. Uh, I've talked about shitty actors. Sorry, Ben. But, um, but Tom Cruise, back to that, it's like his interpretation of Brendan Fraser's The Mummy. Just not as well done. I mean, it's poorly done. I mean, it's basically like he's trying to impersonate Brendan Fraser, but he's a pathetic enough actor he can't do it. So and I mean, your, you, Joaquin <clears throat> Phoenix, too. What's your um, rating? A two. two. Ryan? Okay. Um, <laughs> weird, weird that... I would like the mummy and not Tom Cruise in this. I was really expecting the other way around, you know, they're like, okay, of course I'm going to like the Tom Cruise parts because it's Tom Cruise and he's still killing it, you know, mid fifties or whatever. 55. Uh, and the mummy's going to be all cheesy. 55. Uh, the mummy's going to be all cheesy and shitty. The mummy itself, just <clears throat> some of his parts was actually pretty good. Her. Um, yeah, her. I didn't give the first shit about Tom Cruise's character. Exactly. And yeah. it might not be entirely his fault. It was a terrible script. <laughs> Tried to kind of endear you to this guy's bullshit, you know, and it just was like, I, this guy's kind of an asshole. And then no, the not even that. When, when you're, what, what's your rating? Well, yeah, he is kind of an asshole. He's just like kind of, okay, he's just some self-centered prick. You know, what the fuck am I supposed to care about this guy for? Yeah. But the, the end when I'm supposed to believe that, oh, just this half a decent person is going to fight the interior battle of the, 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 the god of death, you know, like, okay, yeah, right. Like, he's not some, you know deep down some ultimate hero he's just like kind of some average asshole who might be a kind of an okay guy so what's your rating like it was uh, I, I mean it's almost hard to give this movie a two but that's what i'll do because <laughs> yeah. and really the whole bringing in the, the the extended universe part right off the bat was just hodgepodge and nothing fit together so it's just, just a terrible it, effort the extended universe, honestly, was the only part of this movie that really made me excited. Tom Cruise, I wouldn't say he phoned it home because I think he's been doing that his whole career, at least the last. It's almost after, like he tried in this one. And after uh, after Minority Report, I think he kind of phoned it home. It's it, it just it was very cardboard acting. Yeah. Um, her character, like 
the character itself, I didn't care about. I didn't care about the introduction. She really just looked like she was like, well, now I'm not going to be queen. I'm just going to kill everybody. Yeah, that's um, basically what she went for. I mean, that's kind of the plot I, of her character. I do like the subtle change. I do like how you can tell that she was cursed or blessed, your, your choice of vernacular, by the god of death. I love that change. I thought that was cool. Yeah. I mean, uh, it was it was a little bit... I like how it distinguished itself from the Brendan Fraser. I love the introduction of his ghost zombie friend. I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, it reminds me a lot of American Werewolf in Paris, the 1997 one, when he killed, like, I think he, he killed a couple of people and he kept seeing them. Yeah. Um, that was neat. The, the Secret Society part was cool. It's really fucking Leagues of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I mean, Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, but I, I mean, mean, look, I, I'm cool with Jekyll and Hyde, but but, but do its own thing. You know, yeah. like, I, I, I didn't know that they were just going to, like, right off the bat, pull it all together. Oh, hey, look, this is, we've been keeping track of these secrets for such and such years. Yeah, you guys the did notice the, the Swamp Thing movie, hit, right? Was that Swamp Thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah, Swamp um, Thing and Dracula. Or not, no, Creature, Creature from the Black, Creature oh, Black, Black Lagoon, Lagoon, that's not right. Swamp Thing. Yeah. Um, Anyways. But uh, the, the comedy fell flat, especially with fucking Jake Johansson God. doing his best, uh, 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 What's his name? Uh, T.J. Miller impression from Deadpool. Oh, wait, 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 I thought wait, he was trying to do short round. Yeah. There, there was comedy in this. No, and I'm, I'm not joking. I'm serious. Yeah, no, exactly. where was the comedy? The comedy was their oh, first. No, inter- they, well, hold he, on, he, he, I got this one. Their comedy was the first introduction of Tom Cruise and his little buddy when they were going yeah. over there. That whole sequence was supposed to be comedy, oh. and it was trying to like get yeah. you to to find so these was... characters adorable and give a shit. I don't. That's it. So his zombie friend is basically the world's shittiest friend. It's he's 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 Benny, basically. So that yeah yeah yeah. We'll see. Okay, now bringing bringing you back to the to the best point that Charney's made in a long time. Go watch the the Mummy with Brendan Fraser. That was actually a funny movie that that <laughs> that had some like lighthearted moments too. Yeah, and but, great action too. But the reason, and we discussed yeah. this when we were talking about this movie on the Real Flix Reviews Movie News, is the fact it was I think more of the era it was filmed in. I think if this movie was done in the same time period, they wouldn't have done it because people are confused. It, but I think it would have been a better. Well, movie. I, I was hoping. I was hoping for at least more of an homage to the original sort of what made the universe great. Yeah. And and this one was just like, no, we're just going to take sort of the, the, the framework they did do, of the mummy story. <laughs> they did do an homage to the Brendan Fraser. <coughs> no, they didn't. The, yes, they did. <laughs> what it was is what, during, with the book of the dead. Yeah, that was that yeah. was that that was the homage to the previous movie. Yeah, I kind of caught that, too. But I, I, like I said, I don't you didn't get me to give a shit about it. I mean, I cared more about Fat Russell Crowe's character than I did anything else in the movie besides the mummy chick. No, I didn't care about Fat Russell yeah, Crowe's character. I was wondering what what happened to Russell Crowe. I did. did yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I was kind of thinking the same thing. Like, is the dad bod? Is that really what you're going for there, Russell? Because there was. I mean, there was really the, the biggest you have problem. Trainers. Is I didn't care about anybody in this movie. I didn't care about his. Uh, Tom Cruise's girlfriend. I didn't care about Tom Cruise. I didn't really care about the mummy because uh, she just, it was just, okay, she's just kind of a selfish bitch. There was nobody in this movie that actually made me, oh, cool. The only people I felt sorry for were the people that got turned into zombies. Yeah, well, I See, mean, how bad is that when you feel bad for an ancillary I, character? I like the fact that Jenny Hasley, like, totally bitch slapped Tom Cruise. I mean, I enjoyed that part. That was, like, the best part of the entire damn film. I wonder how many takes they had to do. Wait, hold on. I got I can do it better. I don't know. He's kind of wuss. He might have only done the one take. But I mean, like, back to the fact of the comedy. I mean, the lines that were delivered with the whole I'm thinking, I'm thinking shit. I mean, is this the best you could do? I mean, I hate to see the shit that didn't make it. That's sitting on the cutting room floor. I mean, if that's really the best that you guys could put together. Well, uh, again, it's it's this like one dimensional writing that's being done. Like, like the script was just fucking awful. I'm sure they just backed up a truck of money to, to Cruz's house to get him to do it. Now, did you yeah, think um, it suffered from the same thing Prometheus did? Like, the original Prometheus script, from what I've read, was going to be badass, and then it got this homogenized blech, that it became in the theaters. Well, yeah, that's that's what this scene, it was like like the mummy by committee or something. Oh, yeah. You know, that's like like just this like, noted to death, oh, hey, put this in there, put that in there. Oh, yeah. hey, it'd be funny if he said this and it's all coming from, you know, bullshit suits. 
Yeah. Um, the one thing that really pissed me off about this film that like uh, I've never had a film ever do this before is they gave incorrect uh, a definition of what a click is. Now, did you guys catch that one? This is the first film that I've ever seen them actually use. Well, the click, you know, it's five clicks over that way. Do you guys know how much a click is? One kilometer. Yeah, it's one kilometer. It's not a fucking mile like they said in the film. No, they said that a click not. equals a mile in this film. It's one point I, I mean, how dumb are you? you? You don't think people are going to catch on to that? This is the first one that I've ever heard them try to explain what a click is and actually say it's equal to a mile. Yeah, I you know, considering yeah. how what, how they bungled the rest of this movie, I'm really not surprised. Because for me, honestly, thinking about it, the only thing I was really excited about is the future possible movies. Because, excuse me, going into the future a little bit, towards the end of the movie, Tom Cruise became like the living incarnate of set. Somehow he managed to control... Uh, allegedly immortal uh, death god. Don't know how exactly you're able well, to overpower him. I was kind of but... thinking it was a little bit like the backstory of Hawkman and Hawkgirl. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like what you guys stole that from, isn't it? I mean, just throwing it out there. I, I guess if you made them heel characters, yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I just... I was trying to figure out where they got this whole story shit and from. And the whole... Pathetic. And the whole stabbing... Pathetic. I mean, I got the reason why he stabbed himself to become this and Resurrector, but... It just, I don't know. This was such a waste of a good opportunity. I don't give a shit. Is that what you feel? I mean, that's well, I, look, I just, I just refuse to believe that, that Tom Cruise's character would be able to, again, fight sort of the internal battle so he's not taken over by set. Exactly. I mean, that was that was my whole thing. As soon as you saw him fighting him, it's like, oh, that that's right. You, you, you somehow have the ability with your willpower to somehow well, it's, stop it's, it's, the it's quote unquote of, devil. Yeah, they, they implied it that like the the ultimate good was taking care of the ultimate evil, you know he is in, he is a like a, a good whole, you know hearted person. It's like no, he's not. He's an asshole. You just explained to me for two hours that he's a dick. Yeah, and he even admits it. So yeah. so no, basically yeah. this is this is the Constantine he has, like, moment. One half a redeeming moment, and and he that gives him like like the ultimate righteousness this, to defeat the the ultimate evil. That's the this is the Constantine moment in the Keanu Reeves movie. This was oh. he did one good thing, and now somehow he's like, you know, oh he's able to control the devil, and you know, it's it's like what the fuck. Yeah, I kind of get it. I got it. And I have to say though that even though I thought every actor in this movie was flat, the 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 girl who played the mummy did Sophia, an Sophia uh, Butella. Yeah, did an amazing I mean, job. Not, she was the she's best a good actress. She was the only person in this movie I thought that did a good job. The Annabella. Oh, yeah. Weird. Weird that I like the mummy and not and not Cruz. I. Really was expecting the opposite. I was, ho I, my I biggest worry about this like is what this movie kind of became. I thought I was hoping this was going to be the mummy. No, it was really about Tom Cruise's character, and the mummy was an ancillary character, which really honestly kind of pissed me off. Which I think I'm going to lower my rating to a one, a point five. <laughs> a point five. Um, because the more I think about it, the more I was just disappointed. I can't even give it an, enter an entertaining, uh, an extra couple of points for entertainment. I can't give it to the fact that I love the monster universe and I'm hoping for something that's other than a fucking superhero movie. Um, no, this this movie is so crappy. I would say just if you see it on like the Alphabet Channel, watch a rerun of Frasier. <laughs> Damn. Um, I don't know. Maybe Dawson's <laughs> Creek over this one. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of in the fact of, I mean, I did like the mummy character, Sophia. Um, Hence the point five. Yeah, that's why I'm like trying to think if I have to join you on a point five or if I could push it up to a one and I really can't. Join the dark side. Yeah, if I could go to a zero, I would. Ryan? Um, I, I, I'm, I'm sticking to the two. It's, it's, it's bad enough for that. Stupid Russian judge. No, this time he'd be the American judge. <laughs> no, he's a stupid Russian judge. You yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's just. Shut up, commie. 
you know, it's it's obviously not not the worst thing ever on film or anything like that, or, or you know, really cringeworthy. It was just like really, this is what this. I got kind of got my hopes up for. It's it's not Freddy Got Fingered, which would be the only oh, true God. Zero movie. Um, honestly, yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like, or Cable Guy. I, the, the biggest problem, honestly, I have with this movie is it was the hype that I was excited because I love the Brendan Fraser movie. The original 1932 Mommy I liked. This movie was boring. It was not entertaining. Halfway through this movie, I thought it switched. I, I thought it kind of switched stories or went from a thriller to an action movie. I, uh, the acting was stale. There was literally no redeeming quality to this movie for me. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah, I, I can't, I can't wait to see what they do with Dracula and shit that I really like. It, can we, can we just rerun? Uh, did, uh, didn't was they it Dracula, just Dracula dead loving it? A couple years ago. Well, that's it was, why it's, it's going to be like another Dracula untold, you know? There you go. That's the name of it. Yeah. No, well, hopefully, okay, this is going to suck if they screw it up, but how about, I'm, I'm hoping they'll do another, like, take on Bram Stoker's instead of doing the other way because Bram Stoker's is I'm sorry cl- what just what just gave you any hope that they were going to do that after watching this fucking movie it, it was it was hey stop popping my popping my bubble I was hoping I knew it was going to happen yeah, I, I don't know I th- <laughs> yeah no once I realized it was in modern day it's like <laughs> okay it's it, you're going to have to do some some gymnastics to, to kind of get this to work yeah. And it didn't. It didn't work off. They did not no, stick I mean, any kind no. of landing there. Just give the money to broke ass, broken Brendan Fraser. <laughs> I mean, seriously, he needs it right now. He he could use it. I yeah. mean, I know he's crippled and can't do much, but you got CGI. He has a child. You got a payment. lot of stuff. Yeah, that's oh, right. Poor God. bastard. Didn't he like hurt his back doing something? And he's just yeah. Been out the for most recent uh, hurricane that went through Florida, he was trying to clear a tree from his house and injured his back. So, oh, that's a shitty reason not to work. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, we do have I mean, a Facebook. Not, not, it's just shitty that that's the circumstance. <laughs> Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, we do have a Facebook page. You go to facebook.com slash Real Flicks Reviews. You can also catch us on iTunes, Podbean, Stitcher, and more. So this week we watched the TV show Texas Midnight, mm. yeah. season one, episode one. And this time I would like to go. Oh, all right. Johnny's going to step it up. So, you know what? First of all, let me just start by saying that I'm, I am i never thought I'd say this, but I'm, I'm pretty fucking sick of supernatural shit. Yeah. So this, to me, uh, so this is a, a haven meets Eureka mixed with a little eerie Indiana. And supernatural thrown in there. Um, because it's, it's super cheesy. Um, the only reason why I throw a little bit on the edge uh, over some of the other ones is this has more denom- uh, dynamic. Uh, it's a little more dynamic. It has a little bit more dem- demonic presence versus what Haven had. They didn't really. The hell? Um, they didn't really explain anything that I remember in Haven where all the troubles came from. Uh, so I, I actually I watched the first two episodes and. I was impressed. I probably won't watch it again. I got to say, though, this probably had the budget of Erie, Indiana. Um, as far as I'm concerned, this is another Alphabet channel trying to step up their game. This is actually put out by NBC. I didn't know that when I picked it. Um, that so, actually explains a lot. It does, doesn't it? Um, so as far as I'm concerned, I mean, it's not a bad attempt for an Alphabet channel trying to move back into having grown-up television again. But I still think with the actual um, Showtime and the other cable networks putting out better, I don't think it stands up to the things that we've expected from those type of things. So, well, the Alphabet channels are a little bit hampered because yeah. of the FCC. You, you got yeah, the cable channels. They can do really whatever they want. So I, they do kind of have their hands tied behind their back. Um, this actually was a pretty good try. I mean, this is a little bit more violent for for this type of movie. I mean, you've got TV show. I mean, you got True Bloods. You got other uh, TV shows that are violent, but this was pretty good for them on the violence level. Yeah. Um, overall, the biggest. Well, pr- the it's, it's the it's the next batch of sixty year olds that are that are watching broadcast television these days. The, the biggest problem. you know so they they grew up in the in the 60s and 70s and they kind of got a little bit of a, of a foray into science fiction and and fantasy and things like that whereas their parents didn't like any of that shit 
Yeah. You know, so this kind of stuff is, is landing a little more in, in sort of your slightly over elderly age, you know, people's laps, you know. I got to yeah. say, and, my three sons had a better production value than this show does, though. Well, because they don't, they don't give a shit. They don't, they don't, you know, it's better than what they were making in the 90s. That's all they're kind of concerned about. I don't mean to be all ageist and shit, but that's, that's kind of the demographic they aim to is people who still watch fucking broadcast TV. Well, no, I, I, by the way, I, I, I just, I miss the, 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 the type of TV where the, like, I, I'm not trying to explain all this fucking supernatural shit in my head. I mean, I, I, I'm inundated <laughs> with it lately. I, what I you actually. You know, where, where, like, the crazy stuff back in the day was like, like, how is Walter going to get away from, from this next set of methamphetamine problems? Well, I, what I miss, <laughs> what I miss at least from, like. <laughs> Breaking Bad's an old TV show now? Apparently he's old. Uh, no, he's I'm young. just saying, like, like something that's actually grounded in, in, in somewhat oh, of reality. Yeah, like, reality. oh, how is okay. this science teacher going to cook methamphetamine? Not see, like, oh, how is this angel going to fight this demon? And see, that part doesn't bother me. What does? I'm getting tired of at least with the '90s. They kind of did the spaghetti approach of TV, which now I appreciate because that's how you got Sequest DSV, you got Erie, Indiana, you've got a bunch of random shit that they tried X-Files. to see. Yeah, and X Files, and you get to see what kind of fit, what liked. Sequest DSV lasted three seasons, if I remember correctly, and it was cheesy as all hell, but it was entertaining. I mean, this is what the fifth uh, supernatural style TV show in the last decade, or not, if not more. I'd say more. Oh, oh, quite a bit more, sir. Well, at least the ones that I'm aware of. I mean, maybe in the last nine months. I just, I no, I the, the biggest problem to me is just the. And NBC, ABC, the Alphabet channels, I just think are going in the wrong direction. I think instead of trying to copy the Alphabet, uh, the the cable channels, they should do what they do best. And it, it's not, you know, it's not sitcoms. It's, it, it's, you know, I just think, I, I think they kind of lost their game. Yeah, I do too. Well, it's, it's like I said, it's them trying to kind of reach into a different type of market you know, like like trying to appeal it to a, to a slightly broader audience. Um, again, typically leaning slightly older audience. You know, we're we're in like that that kind of perfect eighteen to thirty five kind of demographic where most things are geared towards us because we buy the most shit. But so what are they going to bring you know, back? The, the, they still got to. When are they going? When are they going to bring back diagnosis murder? Because I'd rather watch that than most Matt shows Knock. that are there. Matlock. Um, well, yeah, you know that, that's that's what it is. Is that nobody who is sixty now is going to watch Murder She Wrote? You know, they're going to watch kind of this this new sort of stuff and feel contemporary. Hell, at this time, that at this age, at my age, I'm watching older TV shows. My favorite TV show now is from 1955. <laughs> um, wow. Well, it's actually. <laughs> well, check out Highway Patrol. It's actually a great fun show. Um, oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure I'm going to put it right up there with Andy Griffith. <laughs> it's entertaining. Come on, Opie. <laughs> I thought he was Gomer Pyle. That's giving him hey, a I'm lot of Hey, I'm not a credit. ginger. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you, you mean you have a soul? No, no, he sold it for the pack again. I mean, no, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, next week is my pick, and I was kind of racking my brain a little bit in what to do, so I decided to do... Stripes made 1981 oh. with Harold Ramis, Bill Murray, and a bunch of other great 80s actors. I decided it's about time I watch this movie. I haven't watched it in a long time. Nice. And maybe afterwards you'll pronounce Harold, Harold Ramis' uh, name right. Not a chance no. in hell. No. I've been doing, we've been doing this show for six years. Have I pronounced anybody's name right at this point? No, I pronounced one. No. I pronounced one because it was German and somehow I knew how to say it. <laughs> um, for a TV show, we we're moving away from alphabet channels and going for a USA show that is uh, actually kind of highly controversy so far. The Sinner. I've heard of it. So, Don't know why, but I've heard of it. Yeah. We'll, we'll do the episode one of that one. Episode one, season one? Yeah. It just came out like a couple weeks ago. So, ladies and gentlemen, I gave the mummy... The Mummy 2017, a 0.5. James gave it a 0.5. Ryan gave it a 2 out of 5. We gave a Texas Midnight, eh, eh. Give it a shot. 
We're yeah. doing Stripes, made 1981, next week, along with... The Sinner, season one, episode one, or part one is what they call it. But yeah. for, for Jonathan Charney, James Stevens, and Ryan Preston, thank you for listening. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you.